Thank you. Those are those Vanna white hands. You saw that? You saw those Vanna white hands right there? She's like, hey. More like Vanna black. <laughs> <laughs> See? She had to bring that into it. She had to, didn't she? We are cooking in color, so. You know. We're back, y'all. Cooking in color. Let's go. You're watching Cooking in Color. We're back. Happy New Year. We're going to be doing some fried chicken today. The craze. The craze has reached Cooking in Color. So we're going to be doing a fried chicken sandwich. And uh, we're going to have a little bit of fun. A little bit of sadness right now. I'm not going to lie. Kobe's gone. Mamba's gone. Mamba mentality is, is kicking up for me. And it should kick up for you, too. Let's have some fried chicken. Let's celebrate his life with some fried chicken and some cocktails. Cooking fried chicken. Misnomer, you rinse your chicken. You don't rinse your chicken. You don't rinse your chicken in the sink. You can use dark meat, which I love. Mm, dark meat, Marcus. Or you could use breast meat, pechuga, pollo. Today we're going <laughs> So listen, what you want to do is you want to add as much flavor to your chicken as possible. So we have the brine going, which is just going to be some salt. I have a scotch bonnet gonna chill it with some ice and then we're gonna soak for about six hours then we're gonna put it in the buttermilk and then we're gonna flour dredge it the flour dredge is going to be flour and cornstarch with some seasoning and then we're gonna fry it. it's gonna come up nice and crispy and then you can have your own little fried chicken sandwich bar over here it's great party food you can set up the sandwiches and you can just have everybody just come and create their own little orgasmic sandwich as they do it all we're really doing is we're taking this hot liquid and we're cooling it down because you don't want to cook your chicken all you want to do is make it nice and cold you can taste it should be a little bit salty should have a little bit of heat as well because that is what you want to infuse into your breast give yourself a little bit of time six hours minimum if you want to do it overnight you can do it overnight but you never want to do it too long because then it'll be too salty you never want it to be too salty so 24 hours at the max now we're going to work on our flour dredge we're going to do a double dredge so it's going to be two cups of cornstarch two cups of flour some salt some pepper i put a little bit of curry in here just for color for when i fry it it gets that nice golden brown a little bit of cayenne pepper just for a little bit more heat whisk it together a little bit and that's all we really want to do. Today we're going to be using a cast iron. It's just a little bit harder to regulate the temperature because there's no temperature gauge on it. So I had it up and I, I lowered the temperature because I don't want it to burn. I want a nice golden brown on my chicken. Get this chicken. We're cooking in color. We'll be right back with some fried chicken sandwich. Resorts World Casino in Queens. Come play. Come dine. Come unwind. Resorts World Casino in Queens. Come play, dine, and unwind. We got this buttermilk right here. I'm gonna soak it in some buttermilk. Listen, full fat buttermilk. You see how it's just like that nice coat right there? So we're just seasoning it up. I want it to sit for a little bit because I do want the flour to actually stick to the chicken. I'm gonna be honest with you, as a black chef, I've tried to stay away from fried chicken and fried chicken and waffles and collard greens and mac and cheese and Hoppin' John. Hoppin' John is black eyed peas and rice. But you can't run from your culture. We just did a book, it's called Tokes in Black, and there are a hundred black chefs, male and female. And it's amazing how everybody's story is different, but it's the same. The struggle, the pain, the triumph, and the reason why we cook, and just the adversity that goes with it, but the joy that is created through creating. And, um, it's kind of dope, and my hands are kind of dirty. I'm gonna wash them and then I'm gonna fry some chicken. Oh yeah, just like mama used to do. 
we're cooking the chicken. We have the party going. If you want to set this up for like a party favor, you can do it just like this. I have the buns right here. We'll put the chicken there. You'll have the chicken bar. It's going. This is going to be yummy and delicious. This is that winner winner chicken dinner right there. Really when you want to cook your chicken, for a total of about 14 minutes, you can do it. You can do it all in here. If you have the tabletop fry, you could do that. What I love to do, because it, it keeps the guesswork out of it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cook it majority of the way. I have the oven at about 375 degrees. You can put it all the way up to 450 if you want. And I'm just gonna finish it in the oven. On convection, with the fan, so it's gonna keep it nice and crispy. And it's gonna give you that all around heat so it doesn't burn one side or the other. As an artist, I take how I feel and I put it in my food and then I translate that to the plate and then I give it to people. Like I'm a lover. And you can show your love for whoever, everyone, through your food. Always, always, always give yourself a voice. Always, always, always give yourself a reason to cook. I do it because it's very therapeutic for me. As a kid, I suffered with depression and through cooking, it pulled me out. It created the person that you see before you and there's nothing like sharing yourself with people. Whatever it is that you do that you love, bring your passion. Life is short. You never know when you're gonna go. Open yourself up to the universe. Be yourself, be true, and just open yourself up and let's eat some good food. See, I was going deep again. I was I'm about to dive in to this chicken. Let's go. See that golden color? That's from that curry. You know what I'm saying? That turmeric, it, it gives you that color that you want. It's hot. Boom. I told you guys, you can always finish it in the oven. So I'm just gonna pop it in here right quick. I normally don't do it, but like this is just like great for the table for a party. If you want to have people come over and you don't want to work, you can set up the build your own fried chicken sandwich. Like right here, we have some kimchi, hot cherry and banana peppers here. I have a piri piri sauce, which is just like a pepper sauce. I did a tomato jam, this right here. It's just Thai chili. If you want to be crazy, you could bite it. But then right here, we have some Frank's hot sauce. And then we just have some hot honey right here. And then lettuce, tomato, avocado, you know, pickle. Doesn't really matter. Just create it. Again, build your own fried chicken sandwich. Oh, look at that right there. Look at that right there, right there, right there. Oh yeah, you see that? Mmm. That's beautiful. And it says, Chef, I thought you was gonna toast the buns. I'm toasting the buns. Toasting the buns right now. There's a girl on the beach right now. She toasting her buns. Hey now. We're on some time restraints. Like ESPN. Due to time restraints, we're going to. Look at that. Oh shoot. Watch it, it's about to go fast. I don't want the brown brown. You see what I just did right there? See? That skill set right there. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Just right there. Tell you a little bit of salt. Look at that right there. Oh shoot. Just gonna drizzle. See? Oh shoot. We got that slow-mo. We got that slow-mo. Faux show. Shay Shayla Funk. Look at that right there. Oh shoot. You got that right there, right there, right there. We ready? For the reveal. Tit out. Shay. Shay La Funk. That's dope right there. I can eat that. Put it in color. Let's go. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. As you can see, I enjoyed my fried chicken sandwich. It just feels good to get back into the swing of things. With everything that has transpired, I'm going to go right back. My condolences to the Bryant family. This one hits me hard, but it's good to get back. It's good to 
get back into my passion. It's good to have the mentality that he spoke of, that Kobe spoke of. And getting to the heritage and to where we are as a people. And it sucks that things like this have to bring us back together or or make us understand just how fragile and frail life is and we need to come together and have a fried chicken party or just be able to express ourselves in our passion. But it happened, so let's do it. So I implore you, go out, do something, exercise your passion, bring that mom mentality to your life and be that light that others might see because we're cooking in color. And that's what we do. We want to bring color to the world. Thank you. We're out.